what's up my fina loves it's miss fina d coming to you all from fina team and news hey everybody so happy friday um so i wanted to leave a quick message because i know it um it hit the airwaves that lavon and i we um called off our wedding and um it really, really warms my heart how invested all of you are in just me finding love and my happiness. Um, I will say that I have seen a couple of things and I just want to make this very, very clear. We have mutually called everything off. Nothing happened. He did not cheat on me. I didn't cheat on him. It was just distance and it was just honestly it was becoming difficult but we still work together we're still friends i'm still gonna support his business um he still supports mine and um that's it we're just really in a good positive space and um i just wanted to share that with all of you before rumors so yeah before rumors start swirling around what happened what could have happened th we're good we're really good friends. I'm always going to love and care for Levon. Um, and that's just what it is. My family is and, and we're always going to be friends. We experience something. Um, unfortunately, it's public, but um, we're in a good, happy uh, uh, place. And um, I'm really, really glad that we met each other and that... Um, yeah, like it, it doesn't end with just the relationship. Like, you know, we've created a bond that um, I'm honestly grateful for. So, um, so yeah, just needed to let y'all know on this Friday. Have a good day. I love you guys. Bye. Beverly now ex-fiance reposted these videos to just show that, yes, what she's saying is true. We still rock with each other as friends. It's all good. Now, let us all move on in peace. Now, for those of you who are not aware, Evelyn was on a show called Queen's Court with Tamar Braxton, Nivea, and you see Holly Robertson Pete and her husband. They are the host of the show. Tamar and Evelyn both got engaged from the show. So now, as you can see, Evelyn and Levon did not work out. This is not shocking to me at all. The man is based in Atlanta. You came to Atlanta for a show. You met a man <laughs> that is based in Atlanta. A man that have a child in Atlanta. His family, everything is in Atlanta. His child is still in high school. So, of course, he's not packing up and moving to California or wherever she lives and leaving his child. He's a present father. I get it. People are in like this love bubble when they are on a reality TV show and oh, everything is so perfect and so amazing. I love this feeling and we are going to make it work. But you need to have those hard hitting questions and conversations. Every time that man mentioned Atlanta as it relates to Evelyn coming to visit, the possibility of moving, the possibility of them having the two homes, she looked disgusted every single time. So I knew from there it wasn't going to work. Yes, they had an amazing journey on the show, a beautiful journey on the show. But when the man is talking about where he lives, where his family is, and the possibility, and you look disgusted, I already knew it wasn't going to work. And every time he jokingly said, you know, possibly moving, she was like, no. He possibly moving to where I am because Atlanta is just not her vibe. And she was very honest and open about that. And being a present father and being able to just pull up on your kid compared to now I moved to a completely different state because I'm following a woman and now I can't just, you know, see my child based on how our custody is and all of that. Yeah, absolutely not. And his child is in high school, so there's a few more years left, and then there's college, and depending on where, you know, his child commit, then, you know, he would have the flexibility, but until then, they had to make the long distance work, and you know what? They tried, it didn't work, and they are moving on as friends. Who knows? Maybe in the future, they will reconnect, or, you know, they are just not each other person, because when you do meet the one, and you meet your person, 
you are going to make it work because you just cannot see your life without that person. Yes, people get married and divorce all the time. People think that is my person, get engaged, and as you can see, it's not working out. However, long distance is not stopping you from making your relationship work if you believe in your heart this is my person and I cannot see my life without this person. It will be hard, but you will find a way to make it work until the both of you can be together living in the same space, the same state, and the same place. But they just were not meant for each other. At least they tried. They made the attempt and there's no regrets there because it's like, you know what? I could have said no on the show but i tried i did my best and it just didn't work and it's all good we're friends and we're moving on so kudos to the both of them now tamar on the other hand is having the complete opposite experience if you've missed all of the videos i've done on tamar breakup and all of that i have linked most of them in the description below so click those links to get caught up but Tamar Braxton is going on tour, okay? And her ex fiance posted this right here. He advertised Tamar tour, and then he wrote Dallas, get ready for the one and only. He tagged Tamar Braxton, sending love and light. Thank you, Tamar, for being super supportive during an incredibly difficult time. You are not a negative and horrible person. You are a blessing to the world and have always been nothing short of super supportive and uplifting. Now, I said that their breakup was the complete opposite of Evelyn and her ex-fiance, LaVon, because when Evelyn posted her video, you know, he reposted the video and basically, yes, it's the same thing. I agree. We cool, whatever. But uh-uh. Tamar was like, wait a minute. You broke up with me. And then now you want to post and promote my tour and behave like we are best friends and we are cool and I'm cool with you? Absolutely not. I'm not falling for that. And I'm not about to publicly pretend like we are all high and mighty and above and all of that. No, I'm not reposting because she's been reposting in her Instagram story every post that, you know, other people are posting, promoting her tour and all of that. He did not get that repost and she posted this broken heart instead and she wrote, I can't, I think she meant can't, believe I'm going on my, she hashtag her tour, so broken. People do things on purpose just to see you hurt. Misleading is abuse and a pattern, I'm so stupid. After so much hurt, at some point you have to get the strength to close the chapter what a fool I was. I will say this. Tamar is a businesswoman because if y'all blog pages are going to repost what I'm posting, I'm going to make sure I throw my tour in there. I hashtag my tour so everyone knows I'm going on tour. And for the people who support me, they can then click the link and buy these tickets. And it worked because one of the blog pages that have over 20 million followers reposted this, okay? Do you know how much money Tamar would have paid out of pocket to ask them to promote her tour? So this right here was free promo. Anyways, if you are new here or you missed my other videos that I did, basically explaining from the beginning to the end of how everything started, why they broke up and all of that you can click those links in the description below and while you're there the very first link will take you to my boutique for those of you who always ask what are other ways we can support you outside of subscribing to your channel or to your youtube membership well i do have an online boutique with some beautiful dresses for those of you who just always hear my voice you don't know what i look like this is me this is what i look like it's getting cold but it's not all the way there yet so yes this beautiful dress that you can still look snatched and sexy but it's long and it's classy and all of that it is still available in the brown on the website you all know i had it in the blue but you all sorted out 
within minutes. Thank you all for the love and support, but I still have it available in the brown and the brown is going quickly. And more of the looks that I also showed in the beginning and other things that I did not get to post. But you can click that link that will take you to the boutique website you can see everything else that i have on there will also be another link that will take you to the event planning and decor company website where you can click the contact us page and basically request centerpieces chair covers tablecloth and the list goes on and on and everything you need for your events your wedding your decor and all of that i'm wishing all of you well and take care I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.